This is a friendly reminder that personal devices may only be used to listen to music while working on assignments. There's never any video watching or game playing. Thank you for your cooperation. Today we will solve quadratic equations by factoring. To begin with, we'll review the zero product property. And the zero product property simply states that any number, such as a, times zero is equal to zero. We'll use that product property to solve our quadratic equations. So what are the solutions of the equation 4x plus 1 times x minus 2 is equal to zero? Here we have two factors multiplied together. If I could find out what value in each factor would make the factor zero, then when I multiplied it by the other factor, the equation would be equal to zero. So take a look at what that means. So the first factor, 4x plus 1. If we set 4x plus 1 equal to zero, and we solve for x, we find out that x is equal to negative 1 fourth. If I plug negative 1 fourth into the first factor, I'll get a zero. And then when I multiply it by the second factor, the whole equation would be zero. That's also true if I take x minus 2 and set it to zero, and I plug a 2 in to this factor, zero times whatever this one is, is equal to zero. So we're going to be using the zero product property to solve quadratic equations by factoring. And as you can see here, I graphed this quadratic. It's just in a factored form, not in standard form, it's in factored form. And when I graph that, my solutions intersected the x-axis at negative one-fourth and at two. Find the solutions to the quadratic equation by factoring and put in roster form. x squared plus 8x plus 15 equals zero. So when I'm factoring, I always want to look at the first and last terms to see if they're perfect squares. And if they are, I can use my special case. Here, neither the second one, 15, is not a perfect square, so we're going to look at the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is 1. So since the leading coefficient is 1, I just need factors of 15 and add to 8, which are 5 and 3. So I can factor this quadratic. x plus 3 times x plus 5. Now I'll set each factor to 0 to solve. x plus 3 is equal to 0. x is equal to negative 3. x plus 5 equal to 0. x is equal to negative 5. So my solutions are negative 5 and negative 3. So that means if I plug in negative 5 or negative 3 into this uh, original quadratic equation, I'll end up with a zero, or y will be zero, and I can verify that on my graph. Find the solutions to the quadratic equations by factoring and put in roster form. m squared plus 8m minus 20 is equal to zero. So the first and last terms, the last term is not a perfect square, but the first term is, has a leading coefficient of 1. So all I need are the factors of negative 20 that add to 8, and they are 10 and negative 2. So the factored form is x plus 10 times x minus 2. x plus 10 is equal to 0, and x minus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 10, and x is equal to 2. So my solution set is negative 10 and 2, and I can verify that on my graph. Find the solutions to the quadratic equation by factoring and put in roster form. 2x squared minus 15x plus 18 equals 0. 2 and 18 are not perfect squares, but the leading coefficient is 2. So I need to find the factors of 2 times 18, which is 36, that add to negative 15. 
so I can s factor this by grouping. So what are the factors of 36 that add to negative 15? As you can see in my table here, it's 3, negative 3, and negative 12. So I'm going to rewrite this equation. 2x squared minus 12x minus 3x plus 18 equals 0. I've expanded the negative 15x to negative 12x minus 3x so I can factor by grouping. So now I'm going to group the first two terms, 2x squared minus 12x plus, always put a plus here, and include this negative sign in the parentheses, always have a plus here, Th negative 3x plus 18. So now I'm going to factor the first binomial. 2x times x minus 6. And I'll factor the second binomial. Negative 3 times x minus 6. And that will give me the factor form of 2x minus 3 times x minus 6. Now I'll set it to 0. And x is, that is equal to 3 halves. And x is equal to 6. Find the solutions to the quadratic equation by factoring and put in roster form. 4x squared plus 56x plus 187 equals 315. This one is going to be a big problem, so you may want to get an extra sheet of paper out. Alright, to begin with, I need to have my quadratic in standard form and have it set to zero. So I need to minus 315 on both sides which results in 4x squared plus 56x minus 128 is equal to 0. So it's not a special case, but I'm trying to find the greatest common factor. 4 can be factored out. So 4 times the quantity x squared plus 14x minus 32 is equal to 0. Since this is an equation, we can divide each side by 4 to get rid of this. So we can divide each side by 4 because it's an equation. In the past, it was a factored form, so we had to leave the 4 there. Yikes. Which leaves me, when I divide each side by 4, x squared plus 14x minus 32. Well, this is much more manageable to factor. What are the factors of negative 32 that add to 14? 16 and two, negative 2. So I can rewrite that into factor form. x plus 16 times x minus 2. I set each factor to 0, and my answer is negative 16 and 2.